On September 29, 1957, deep inside the Soviet Union, a secret city named Shulyabinsk 40, now known as Ozyorsk, was about to experience one of the worst nuclear accidents in history. At the Mayak Plutonium Reprocessing Plant, a massive underground tank stored liquid radioactive waste. Its cooling system had quietly failed. For more than a year, temperatures inside the tank kept rising. Then, without warning, a chemical explosion erupted, equivalent to 70 tons of TNT. The blast hurled a 160-ton concrete lid straight into the air. No one outside knew. But in minutes, a radioactive cloud containing cesium-137 and strontium-90 spread across the Ural Mountains. The fallout contaminated over 20,000 square kilometers, creating what scientists now call the Eastern Ural Radioactive Trace. Thousands of villagers nearby noticed a strange, blowing dust settling over their fields. Many fell sick almost immediately, their skin burning, their hair falling out. But the Soviet state remained silent. No announcements, no warnings, only secrecy. A week later, on October 6, 1957, the NKVD, the Soviet secret police, began evacuations of the most contaminated villages. Families were forced to leave within hours, often without belongings. Soldiers ordered them never to speak of what they had seen. Officially, nothing had happened. For decades, the world knew nothing of this disaster. It wasn't until the 1970s, when Soviet dissident scientist Zors Medvedev published details in the West, that the truth came out. The International Atomic Energy Agency later classified it as a level 6 nuclear event, the third most severe in history, after Chernobyl in 1986 and Fukushima in 2011. The name, Kishtum Disaster, came from the nearest town on the map, because the actual location, Chelyabinsk 40, was too secret to exist publicly. Today, parts of the region remain uninhabitable. And yet, this catastrophe is still overshadowed by Chernobyl, even though it poisoned thousands and left scars across the Ural Mountains.